Hey, hey, hey everyone. What day is it? Happy Wednesday. All right, so there is some stuff I want to talk about. This message is going to be particularly applicable to those of you who want to be or are or are trying to be um, or want to just get more potent which means share your message in a bigger and better way. This is for all of you online influencers. So um, I have been a chiropractor for 10 years. I'm working now with some chiropractors in, and other healers um, putting out messages online. And everybody is online now. And so this message is to help you reflect on something that I have struggled with in the past. And I'm going to tell you a personal vulnerable story as well. Um, but this is really, you know, if you if you go online and you're scrolling, scrolling through Facebook, um, you're going to see people with powerful messages. And then you're going to see people who are having fun and they have, you know, entertaining messages. But then there's messages out there that are just noise. And I had an experience with this myself where for a long time my message was really just noise. And um, I want to share that experience and I want to offer some tips and advice for you if you're wanting to help people in bigger and better ways to make sure that your message is more potent and not just noise in the airways. So hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're here, comment hashtag live. I see many of you popping on. If you're watching the replay, comment hashtag replay. If you know this or not, every time you comment live or replay, especially when there is a potent message that you deserve, you think is worthy of sharing, every time you engage, it helps the message become more potent so that it's not um, overseen or overheard or underheard. Overseen, underheard, something like that. All right. So if you haven't realized, if you haven't realized, I am rebranding personally, professionally, this quiet time has been a reset for me and um, I'm enjoying this reset. So I have created inside of me, birth the potent healer. And that was something that came to my mind about two weeks ago, the week that I kind of shut down my office and was like, holy crap, what am I gonna do? And I just got quiet, I got still, and the potent healer message emerged. Um, and so it's perfect for what I've been doing, and it's perfect for what I want to do. Um, and the reason why, some of you might be wondering what happened to my hair. I cut my hair because it was an incongruency. I sat on the couch, every time I would wash my hair, I would have to sit on the couch and I would have to mess with it. And that was really an incongruency when I realized I wanted to be the potent healer and I want to help other healers be potent. And that happens with your message. So I could not be potent while I sat on the couch for 12 hours doing my hair. I have bigger and better things to do, like sharing a message today for all of you healers, chiropractors, um, all of you that want to help the world heal, change, you want to see change happen. Um, you want to make your mark on this world. That's not going to happen if you are busy doing other things, if you are not potent, if you can't get your message out there. So let me tell you a story of kind of how the potent healer came to be. This really started a, f a few years ago um, when I was first starting to do my Facebook live videos. And so um, I was... Uh, I had signed up for a multi-level marketing company years ago and I was losing weight. It was uh, therapeutic ketones and I was losing weight and um, I was really excited about it and I quite honestly I wanted to share the product with people and so I did a Facebook live and um, my uh, someone who's very close to me commented on my kind of my message and she said, like, what was that all about? Like, you were just, um, you were just taking up airwaves. You had no point, like your message had no point. 
it was really um, it was really silly and I was trying to take on this role of being an online influencer and so I got in my car and I was like hey guys and I was driving to work and I was I was really saying nothing and I was um, guilty of maybe just trying to get attention and um, so my and when I got off the Facebook live it was just a few minutes when I got off the Facebook live I kind of walked away feeling yucky about it I was like oh I don't I didn't really like that I mean there was no point there was really no point to that message that I shared it was just noise and this person kind of called me out on it and made me go deep and reflect and say you know what she has a point I don't want to put a message out there unless it matters, unless it means something, unless it's going to make a difference in the lives of others. And so if you're still listening, it's because maybe you want to put a message out there that's worthy of being heard and that it's not just noise. So um, this has a lot to do with the potent healer. And um, even though I was triggered by her calling me out, I feel like it really did me some good. Um, it's never fun to be called out, right? Especially when you're doing something wrong or, and especially when you don't even feel good about it yourself. But when you can take a step back and go, you know what? I do want to help people in a bigger and better way. I don't want to just be noise. I don't want to just show off. I don't want to just like, Hey, look at me. If I'm going to do a Facebook Live, if you scroll back to a lot of my messages, there is a meaning behind why I get up, why I show up. I'm not here to get attention. I'm here to instill change in the lives of people who work with me. I'm here to, um, and this, these are all possible for you too, influence change, inspire people, make them happy, entertain them. Um, these are just some of the reasons why I get up and I want to encourage you to do the same. So, um, you know, I have struggled in the past with being consistent in sharing a message. And I really figured out the reason I struggle is because I do, I kind of overanalyze getting up and showing up because I want my message to pack a punch. I want my message to wake people up. I want my message to give people support. Now, I also have to realize, and this is a really good tip for you, is you have to juggle between do I show up and give a, a potent message or do I sit on the couch and think of all the things that I want to say, but I don't actually go out and say them. Now, if you're struggling with not putting your message out there, but inside, internally, you're like, it's it's growing and it's waking up inside of you. I want to encourage you the place to be for that would be the healer, the potent healer collective. It's a free Facebook group. I started, this is going to be the incubator space. If you are a healer, a chiropractor, online influencer, you know that what you have to offer, whether it's cultivated, fully cultivated or not, what you have to offer will change lives will impact the world, will change the world, will better the world. If you have something to offer and you want to work on cultivating not only the message, but also the skills and the confidence and the potency of being able to speak in front of an audience and stimulate change, inspire, entertain, educate, if you want to do those things, then come and join me over in the Potent Healer Collective. You don't have to be a licensed healer. You don't have to be a chiropractor. This group is for men and women. If you want some help in um, putting together a potent message. So I have some guidelines for you. If, if maybe you're not ready to join the group, but you are just trying to evolve and cultivate your message, I have some guidelines for you. I've kind of already touched on them, but if you wanna speak a message that packs a punch, that isn't just noise, that is worthy of being heard, then I want to give you some guidelines here. Um, think about before you go live, before you share your message, is your message just about you or does it actually matter? 
does it actually we are so busy even under quarantine we are so busy we don't have time to waste is your message wasting time is it just filling up the noise waves or does it matter now it's not going to matter to 100 percent of your friends and see that's the other guideline for you is sometimes we worry about sharing our message because we're worried about hurting other people's feelings, or we're worried about triggering other people, or we're worried about what will they think if I say this message? Well, if your message is potent and it's not just noise and you're not worried about what other people think, your message is going to divide your audience. You're going to have people who love it and you're going to have people who hate it. A potent message does not need to be liked by everyone. That's how you know it's potent, actually. When your message is more of just noise, you're going to get thumbs up and you're going to get likes, but you're not going to get like, oh my God, that that changed my life. You're not going to get messages that, oh my gosh, that changed my life. And oh my gosh, thank you so much for sharing. And you really inspired me today. You're not going to get those messages. But when you pack a punch, when your message packs a punch and it's not just noise, you're equally going to get love messages. And I have had my fair share of like hate messages. And you know what? That's when you know you're doing something good. That's when you know your message is worthy of sharing because it's going to aggravate and, um, and trigger some people and that's okay that's okay um another guideline in sharing a more potent message is really digging deep into your truths so just a minute ago i posted something about bill gates there are crazy things if you go on and research bill gates and what he's up to and what he's behind you are going to figure out really quickly that Bill Gates is pushing mandatory vaccines because of his bottom dollar. He, his pockets will get bigger if all of us get mandatory vaccines, if we all buy into what the media is saying. There is truth behind that message if you go and do the research. But guess what? The media is trying to be potent in their own way and hide us from the truth. And so us healers, us people who know the truth, us people who know that, hey, that's not okay. We got to get out there. We got to share our message. We need to be potent now more than ever. The Potent Healer Collective would be a really great place to come and cultivate the message worthy of sharing. So truths need to be shared, even if they're not because it's beautiful now because I have that experience to help other people not make the same mistake that I did. Um, and then my last tip for you is that um, if you are worried about what others think, then again, the Potent Healer Collective is the place for you to be because um, that takes a lot of practice. I have been practicing that for years and I feel like every step along the way I'm getting better and better but I'm still there's still still um, fibers of my being that are affected by what other people will think Um, but I'm getting better at that so um, yep that's my that's my tip for you let's all do our part in changing the world helping the world heal by being our most potent selves let's be let's have a message worth sharing rather than just being noise and trying to get attention okay so come and join me the potent healer collective it's a free Facebook group I'll comment below so you can have um, find me there Uh, the world needs help now more than ever and it's up to us it's up to us as individuals to spark change in the collective and I know that if you're listening right? You want to have that meaningful message that's worthy of sharing, that deserves to be heard. And those skills and abilities to share it potently are already inside of you. So come and join me. I'll help you tap into that. 
Um, if you also, if you have been thinking about starting an online business, maybe you have a coaching program or you want to put a course together or you just want to help coach and support people while we're all under quarantine, then again, I have a important so, uh, webinar that I'll be doing tomorrow at noon Central Standard Time so make sure that you um, are in one of my groups or that you um, message me for the link to register so that you can join me on how to put your ideas into action in just one hour so that's gonna be awesome so um, thank you so much for listening and we will talk soon if you're just tuning in um, comment hashtag replay and go and grab the replay all right everybody have a great day